often in here now. So, uh, of course, as you all know, the first subject of the day is homework. I'm assuming you haven't done any, Henry. Uh, no, miss. And what is your excuse this time? Um... You know, Henry, you could actually try doing some homework. <laughs> yeah? And how am I going to do that? Well, there are lots of websites that can help you with your homework. Well, is there one that actually does your homework for you? Well, what would be the point of that? Worth a look, Henry. Yeah! Well, thanks, Brian. Mum says... Go away, Worm. Can't you see I'm busy? Mum says she doesn't care it. What? She doesn't care that I'm doing homework? Henry? You're doing your homework? Yes. Look. The ultimate website for homework. Oh, Henry. You are doing your homework. Keep up the good work, Henry. It's all worth it in the end. Mum! Hmm, let's see. The ultimate website for homework excuses. <laughs> this is what I need. Let's try the random selector button. And what is your excuse this time? Well, I was halfway through my homework and I got distracted, miss. Did you know? And what exactly was it that distracted you, Henry? An investigation into the root cause of physical randomicity, miss. E eh? Yes, it's a really interesting subject. Would you uh, like me to tell you all about it, miss? Eh, eh, no, Henry, not now. But I'm glad to hear you've been doing some work, of sorts. So, Henry, anything distract you from your homework last night? Well, yes, Miss Battleaxe. I'm waiting, Henry. The fascinating question of whether man is mighty or mundane. Hmm. And what conclusion did you come to? Ah, uh, well, I didn't, Miss. You see... Oh. Oh. Don't tell me, Henry. You got distracted. <laughs> yes, Miss! Glycogenetics. Interglyco what? Interglycogenetics. Who can tell me what this means? Uh, Brian? Uh, an in depth analysis of whether you really belong in your family or whether you are a changeling who has been left there as a punishment. Uh, nearly, Brian. Well, uh, I'm glad to see that someone else is keeping up with you, Henry. So, that will be your homework for tonight. I expect an essay on the subject of interglycogenetics <gasps> on my desk by the start of school tomorrow. <laughs> Class dismissed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop. I mean what I say, everyone. Triple detentions all round if anyone, and I mean anyone, fails to deliver. Oh. Henry, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> Game of football, Brian? No, I'm off to the library. Even I'm worried about this homework, Henry. Well, aren't you going to give me a hard time too, bogey brain? Huh? You're talking to me, Snot Slime? Yeah. How much do you know about interglycogenetics? Quite a lot, actually. Huh? You mean, it's, it's really a subject? Yes, and it just so happens that my dad's best friend is the head of the Institute of Interglycogenetics. Really? Yeah, really. And it just so happens that he's coming to our house for dinner tonight. So I am sorted. Um, how about that game of football, Ralph? Uh, yeah. All right, then. Did I just imagine all that?
it must... Now, uh, what was it you came in to say to the class? Oh, dear. I just wanted to remind everyone that we've got the first football playoff of the Ashton Athletic Junior Team Football Trials this afternoon. Yeah! Well, we'll be seeing about that. Please, miss, if we miss this playoff, we won't get a second chance. Really, Margaret? Well, you should have thought about that before you started to play spider catch with your friends. But... Silence! You're all in detention as of now. But... My decision is final! that you are talking to. Nice one, Margaret. That was definitely doing something. Please, Miss, Ralph's talking too. Thank you again, Margaret, and that's twice you've been talking now. <laughs> what you gonna do now, Margaret? Get lost, bouncy ball brain. Just because I don't have my glasses, it doesn't mean I can't hear you, Al. Oops. And Margaret. That's number three for you. <laughs> Not so fast, Margaret, Al, Ralph and Henry stay here. The rest of you can go. <laughs> Which one of you is the best football player, would you say? Thank you. Uh, well, then, you shall all stay in detention <gasps> for the rest of the day. <laughs> but to the science lab now! Hey, attention! <laughs> Miss Bates is here. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sorkington. I've come to tell you that Miss Ordbord has suggested that I referee the Ashton Athletic Junior Team football trials this afternoon while you go and get my glasses mended for me. But... but... So, off you go, Mr. Sorkington. Oh, uh, right, Miss Badalax. Off I go. Uh, yes. She can't referee the trials. She's a girl, for one thing. And what's wrong with that, sir? Oh, uh, nothing, Margaret. I'm just upset about all this. So are we, sir. We're missing it too. Yeah, and we didn't stand on Miss Battleaxe's glasses. That in itself is true, Margaret. <laughs> what are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. What are we going to do? We're going to do something. Oh, here we go again. Psst. Um, you're supposed to be in detention. We'll get into trouble if we talk to you. Oh, don't be such a wimp. I need you to deliver a message to Peter. I can't deliver a message to Peter. Yes, you can. Pull yourself together and listen. We've got a message for you, Peter. Have you? What is it? Um, it's a message from Henry. Not interested. But we'll get into trouble if you don't listen. Who from? Henry. Still not interested. And Margaret. Interested now. Oh, uh, just off to get the glasses repaired, Boudicca. 
you've done, Henry. It's what you're about to do. I need you to ask Mr. Soggington a question. Can't you ask him yourself? Oh, no, Henry, I can't. Oh, all right, then. What's the question? The question is, what should I wear? What should you wear? He'll know what I mean. <laughs> now, run along, Henry. Ugh, what's that? Stew. Hello, Henry. Got any more messages for me? Uh, yeah. Miss Battleaxe was asking what she should wear. Miss Battleaxe was asking what she should wear? Are you sure, lad? Well, that's what she said, sir. Oh. Oh. Overalls. Uh, tell her she should wear overalls. Overalls? Uh, yep. I always wear overalls when I'm tidying up the gym cupboard. Uh, tell her I'll see her there. What did he say, Henry? Who, oh, miss? Sidmouth, uh, I mean, Mr. Soggington. Did he say what I should wear? Yes, overalls. Overalls? Overalls? Well, overalls it is then. <laughs> oh, a miss? Yes, Henry? He said he'd see you there. Where? I don't know. The gym cupboard, I think. The gym cupboard? Ooh. The Gym Cupboard Restaurant. Oh, how romantic. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. Not good at all. Ah, Henry, did you deliver my message to Mr Soggington? Um, yes, miss. And what did he say? He said to meet him at the gym cupboard and that he'd like to try a new restaurant. Oh, and to wear overalls. Overalls? How odd. What was that all about? Not really sure. Old Ombud told me to tell Soggy Sid to meet her after school. And now it's got all mixed up with restaurants and gym cupboards and overalls and Miss Battleaxe. All sounds perfectly clear to me. Uh, yes? So, who can tell me what is eight times seven? Henry? Um, eighty-seven. Well, the answer I was looking for was fifty-six. <laughs> but why not eighty-seven? That's close enough. Well done, Henry. Right. Ten laps around the field. Huh? Off you go, girls. Maybe you lads would like to play football instead. Henry, I've been thinking. Uh-oh. No, no, seriously. Old Battleaxe and Soggy Sid are being seriously weird. Too right. They're being seriously nice to us. That's what I mean. Seriously weird. And I think I've worked out why. Why? Well, Old Battleaxe thinks the message about the restaurant was for her. Yeah. But it was really for Miss Oddbod. Yeah. And Miss Oddbod thinks the message about tidying the gym cupboard was for her. Yeah. But it was really for Miss Battleaxe. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, no, I don't. What are you talking about, Ralph? I'm talking about you being in serious trouble when Soggy Sig finds out that Miss Battleaxe thinks she's meeting him in a new restaurant when he thinks she's going to be helping him tidy up the gym cupboard. You're going to make sure that Miss Battleaxe meets Soggy Sid in a restaurant and that Miss Oddbod gets the gym cupboard tidied up. And how am I going to do that? Leave it to me, Henry. Oh, but what about Miss Oddbod? Where does she fit into all this? Mm, well, I haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Don't worry. I've got it covered. What a mess. Right. Tidy the gym cupboard. Do you want to get out of trouble or not? <sighs> ah, all done. All by 
by myself. Thanks for helping me, Ralph. Oh, you've been busy too. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. <gasps> Ralph, where's your homework? I haven't done it, Miss. What? I was at dancing class, Miss, with Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes, fifteen seconds. Hopeless. <laughs> Henry, Ralph, <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Nothing, sir. Yeah, nothing at all. <laughs> Six laps of the field. Both of you, go! <gasps> Where did you get that? Oh, just somewhere. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, everyone else would like to see it. Henry? Yeah, shall we call them over? You worried boys. Oh, I don't really feel like running today. Oh, I know, but I got uh, running itis. Oh, just two laps, lads. Are they actually kissing? Ugh. I feel sick. OK, OK. <laughs> you win. Mm, like, aren't you making them let run, sir? No. Oh, that's not fair. How come they get away with it? Five laps of the field. Go. <laughs> Henry, I'll ask you just this once. Where is it? You know what I mean, Henry. Where is it? Where's what, Miss Bubbleaxe? Oh, don't try to be clever with me. The photo, Henry. Oh, I gave it to Ralph. Now that is an untruth, Henry. But I did. We'll see about that. Turn out your pockets. <laughs> OK. Hand it over, Henry, or... Or what, Miss Battleaxe? Or... or... you'll regret it! What's it worth? I'm losing patience. No homework for a term? I'm warning you, Henry. A year? <laughs> Henry! William, what are you doing? Uh, just going to the toilet, M M Miss Battleaxe. Outside, now! <laughs> now, which one is Henry's? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> so. This is where you've hidden it, eh? Na, 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 na. <laughs> Maybe they won't show it to anyone. Don't be an idiot. Remember, this is Henry we're dealing with. But we're only ballroom dancing. Shh! Keep your voice down. But it's not a crime. That's not the point. It's you dancing with me. <laughs> People will think we're... What? Going out with each other. <laughs> Me and you. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Oh, no, uh, nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's just you're so much or uh, uh, prettier <laughs> than me. Well, then, look, Sid, don't you get it? If this photo gets out, I'll be a laughing stock. My reputation will be ruined. <laughs> then. Uh, what can we do? We're going to strike back. <laughs> Give Henry a dose of his own medicine. <laughs> uh, now then, instead of choir practice, we thought we'd try something new today. Hands up, who likes country dancing? Now, who 
would like to demonstrate for the class. Henry, I hear you're keen on dancing. Me? Oh, Henry, thank you for volunteering. So easy being me. I'm You haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. Huh? And don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts. It's how you play the game. <laughs> don't be horrid, Henry! <laughs> there, Peter. Your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! It's a bed for you, Henry. I've been in training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible! Not if you've got the willpower. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this yummy, gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy, gummy. Oh, they're my fave. You won't have one. Take your places for the three legged race. The three legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I am. Um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up, it's about to start. Your marks! I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No! This way! Ah. Ow! Ow! Oh, oh. This is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! See, Margaret, I told you we wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh, and Henry, you horrid child, if you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong. You are here all day. The rest of you follow me. <laughs> oh, you'll pay for this, Henry. But the trouble with sports day brings out the worst in people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> Ready, get set, go! And nobody moves until I find out who brought those eggs. I can't tell a lie, Miss Battleaxe. Well, it was Peter. <laughs> Take your places for the last race of the day. The 400 metres. I'm 
gonna beat you this time, Henry. Oh, who cares? It's just a stupid race. That's your problem, Henry. You don't care about anything, which is why you never win. That's not true! On your marks! excited about it too. That's weird. Hi, Henry. Now, what are you doing here? Couldn't let you do this on your own. That's very decent of you, Al. Yeah, cool. This is what I thought. Let go, uh, wait for me, Henry. Linda? Mm. Like that's my name, Henry. Linda? <laughs> Linda, what are you doing here? Like, uh... <sighs> It's a new club, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Come on, you horrible lot. No time for chit-chat. Oi, snot bag. What have you done with my crimson cutlass? Oh, uh, sorry, Mr Soggington, sir. Didn't realise you were, um, <clears throat> there. Detention, Margaret. Yes, miss. Excuse me, sir, there's been a mistake. Too right there's been a mistake, young lady. That's why we're here. No, I mean... And if this horrid boy here had chosen to pay attention instead of... Attention! Miss Battleax is here. Stand by, boys and girls. I said stand by. You mean stand up, don't you, Mr. Sockington? I mean what I say, you horrid boy. You have exactly all day to think about why you're here. Oh, all day, Miss Battleaxe? Yes, all day. The crime committed was a very serious one. Oh! You may not talk. You may not sleep. Linda! Oh, oh sorry, Miss Battleax. You may not move from this room. And while you are here, you will consider a very important question. Question? This is all your fault, Henry. How's it my fault that you're here, bogey brain? Shh, Henry. That question is, who do I think I am? Not a goldfish, that's for sure. Shall we? Ooh, we shall, Mr. Sockington. Is it always like this? Is what always like this? Detention. Ooh, like this is detention. Linda, why else do you think you're here on a Saturday? Like, uh, it's Saturday. <laughs> Actually, 
Look, bird brain, I don't want to interrupt, but I've got better things to do than stand here and discuss who you think you are. He's got a point, Beetle Bunce. And that point is, Slug's not. We are who we are. Yeah, genius. And we've got a right to be. Cues in Ray. No, not call out. We're not anyone, we're just kids. So easy being me, I'm hard Ready for another day of mayhem and mischief? <laughs> you bet! Who knows where the time goes? Not up my sleeve, and that's for sure. We could say excuse me. Yeah, but you'll have to do it. Why me? Cos I'm horrid. Yes, and I'm rude. Excuse me? Yes, I'm talking to you. That means out of the way. Peter? And then it's mop, mop, mop till your arm drops off. Excuse me, Mr Soggington. You are in. I said excuse me, Mr Soggington. Oh, um, sorry, Peter. Oh, I didn't see you there. all about? I'm turning myself in. I can see that. Ever since what happened yesterday happened. Oh, I've said I'm sorry. No, you haven't. But that's not the point. Ever since it happened, I've been asking myself one question. Oh, yeah. What's that, then? What if I'm not perfect? What if I'm the horrid guy? Ah, Henry. An incident with Mr. Soggington, I hear. <sighs> it's me you want to see, Miss Oddbod. Had <laughs> Peter got himself a detention? Yeah, I reckon he did. Oh, something. Yep, it was. Why would he do that? I don't know. All credit to him. He must have been very angry about something. Uh, yes, he must. Reckon he's trying to get himself a reputation. What do you mean? Reckon he's going to end up more horrid than his big brother. Ha! That'll never happen. He's not called Perfect Peter for nothing. We could find him another name. I need a new name. How about Impertinent Peter? Hmm. That could work. Thank you, Brian. Impertinent Peter. How do you fancy living with that, Henry? From now on, I'm in charge. I say what goes down and what goes up. And what goes sideways. We'll start with detention. Oh, uh, certainly, Peter. How about a double detention? Is that all you've got? Triple detention. <sighs> octuple detention, Peter, if you know what octuple means. I know what octuple means, and I'll take it. <laughs> one's going to be interested in you anymore, Henry. It'll all be about impertinent Peter. <laughs> I ask for extra homework and never do any. I've been late more times than anyone can remember and now I've smashed the detention limit. How does it feel to have all your records broken, Wormlet? You talking to me? 
Yes, I'm talking to you, Horrid Henry. Or should I say, not so Horrid Henry? <laughs> Gotta go! This is for you, Peter. It contains a packet of chocolate biscuits, a bag of super sticky Twizzlers and a tin cup. Plus, two pairs of gardening gloves. And a change of underwear. So easy being me, I'm The trick to a really good house hot pot is to give it all a really good stir. The trick to a really good house hot pot is not to make it in the first place. And when you've done that, you can add a little bit of magic water to make it really light and fluffy. What's magic water when it's at home? It's water that has magic in it. So it's just water then? No. It's water that has magic in it. <sighs> Why don't Mum and Dad ever have anything to eat in the fridge? Right about now, Miss Lovely will be asking Mum and Dad if they've been as good as gold. And have you been as good as gold? Of course, Miss Lovely. There you go, then. That's your good as gold timetable for this evening. Oh, how sweet. Did Peter make this? He did. Isn't it lovely? Yes, Miss Lovely. It's really lovely. Lovely is as lovely does, I always say. Uh, yes. Off you go now. Time to have your teacher talk. And right about now, they'll be sitting down to talk to Madame Tutu about my dancing. Hello. Henri. Um, do you mean Peter, Madame Tutu? No, I mean Henri. Oh, uh, right, because we're here to talk about... Henri, that's right. Henri le Terrible. Well, usually we call him Horrid, but... Horrid, Terrible, Awful. Who cares? Ha, huh, yes. Who cares? We need to talk about Henri. All right, then, if you insist. What's he done now, Madame Tutu? Poof! What has he not done? He has used my dance studio as a football pitch. He has tied all the ballet shoes together to make a long rope. I didn't know he could tie shoelaces already. And then he used the long rope to tie up all the girls. Um... And... Oh, no. And he put them all back again afterwards. <sighs> But that's a good thing, isn't it? In the wrong box. Oh, well then. Goodness me, is that the time? I think our five minutes must be up. That Henri, he really is horrible. Actually, horrid is the word you're looking for. Henry is horrid, most of the time. Ah, yes. Horrid Henri. This is a perfect name for him. You don't say. To make a really good house hot pot, you have to have patience and skill. And a lot of vegetables. <laughs> that was a little joke. Do you think it worked? Right about now, Mum and Dad should be on their way to see Miss Lovely. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Can I help you? Uh, we're here to talk about... Oh, yes, Henry. Well, no, uh... Henry, Henry, Henry. What can we say about a boy called Henry? Well, you could probably say a lot, but... Oh, yes, the time we turned the ceiling blue. <laughs> what? But then that was probably my fault, trying to make a cup of coffee at the same time. Mr, um... Walter. But you can call me Wheelie Walter. All right, Mr, um, Wheelie Walter. Do you actually teach Peter? Peter? Who's Peter? Uh, will you excuse us, Mr. Willy Walter? Is he even on the timetable? No, he's not. Then why do we go to see him? <coughs> ah, Mr. Soggington. We didn't see you there. Uh, do sit down. 
Yeah, you look familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? Yes. No. I thought so. I'm really, really sorry about what I said about your goldfish, uh, Goldilocks. Oh, don't you worry about that. She's forgotten all about it. Three second memory, you see. Uh, uh, who did you say you are again? We're Peter's parents. It's so easy being me. I'm This treacle is lovely! <laughs> oh, shit! Moody Margaret's being lovely! The aliens are here! Well, you don't understand! The aliens have taken over Margaret's body! And they're going to take over the world! Not before you've had a good night's sleep. Lights out, Henry. But Margaret! Nighty night, Henry. Sleep tight. How could I sleep with an alien next door? The aliens have taken over Margaret's body! Moody Margaret can be a real pain, Henry, but she's not an alien. Yes, she is! Everything's lovely and they're going to take over the world! Many have tried, but they all, um, mess up. Oh, here she comes. Oh, no, now there's two of them! Lovely, lovely, lovely we'll be. Lovely as is lovely does. What are we going to do? Lovely, lovely, I don't know. Hey, what are you doing? Proving Margaret's an alien! Here, go and wipe this on Margaret. No way! She'll kill me! No, she won't! She'll be lovely! Go on! <laughs> Oops. Oh, Ralph! Are you all right? Uh, sorry? That's OK. We're learning to get rid of stains in Girls Club today. Lovely! Yeah, lovely. Come on, we don't want to keep Miss Lovely waiting. Mm -mm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> They're definitely aliens. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to stop them. But maybe it is lovely being an alien. Uh, maybe not. We need more information. Come on, Ralph. Da, 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 da. Let's start our meeting. Lovely is as lovely does a lovely Miss Lovely is the head alien! Poor Margaret! <gasps> Did I just say that? What are you two up to? Uh, being lovely? Don't you lovely me! Go to Miss Oddbot's office now! <laughs> Miss Battleaxe is definitely not an alien. We've got to tell someone! But no one's going to believe us. Miss Old Bob might. She believes anything. Yeah, maybe. What is it, Henry? Uh, Miss Old Bob, we think there's something you should know. No, oh, isn't that lovely? It's my favourite song. La 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 la. la. Lovely. Now, what did you want to tell me? N nothing. N nothing at all. We uh, ha have to go now. Lovely. <laughs> now, now, boys. Lovely is as lovely does. <laughs> They've all been taken over by aliens. And where next? Oh, it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. Wait a minute. It's raining! 
Nothing! You read your party! Only water can defeat the aliens! Yeah, Henry, only they're all inside where it's dry. I know, but I have a plan! Come on! It's Miss Oddbod here from Ashton Primary. I wonder... I'll take that as a no, then. Hmm. Might have to try a trainee instead. Let's see who we've got. Ooh, let's try this one. Fingers crossed, eh, Tiddles? <sighs> Well, Miss Rancid, thank you so much for coming in at such short notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Uh, let me show you to your class. It's all right. I know the way. <laughs> My pet spider. I don't believe I have. Oh. No buts, Henry. Sit down. Anyone else thinking of misbehaving? No, no. No what? Uh, 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 no, Miss. Uh... Miss Rancid. No, Miss Rancid. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You go! You go! You! You! And you go! Go! No! What are you doing down there, Henry? I'm cleaning the floor! What does it look like, worm? Help you, Henry. Maybe you'll get a good as gold badge from you and your teacher. <laughs> That's what you think, smelly nappy baby. Well, if you don't want my help, then I'll carry on with what I was doing. La 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 so, Henry, what you going to do about it? About what? The bogey babysitter. The bogey teacher, more like. Why is it me that's got to do something? Because. Because why? Because it's all your fault that Miss Basilax has gone away on holiday and left us alone with that monster. Yeah, well, it's not my fault that Rebecca's not frightened of spiders anymore. I thought Archie would scare her away. Well, it didn't, did it? So you better figure out how to get rid of her, or else. Or else what? Or else it will be even more your fault. <sighs> Why is it always my fault? Because it always is. Um, please, miss. Please, miss. Um, please, miss, are you going to teach us anything? You are a creep, and I don't like creeps. Because, Miss, if you're not going to teach us anything, I'd like to be excused to go to the library, please. You're all creeps! Now go! Scoop! 
scary creeps. <laughs> Sue, how are you getting on with that bunch of snotty news, kids, eh? <clears throat> All right. They can be pretty scary sometimes, can't they? Don't frighten me. Nothing frightens me. Really? Really. Mm. 